Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the payment gateway testing for the banking website. That is, we will be testing the payment gateway for online transactions. Before we do the detailed testing, we will first start with the UI testing. That is the user interface testing. We will ensure that the UI elements such as the various options that are available and the forms the messages that are displayed, all those are as per the requirement or not. We'll verify that. And we will also verify whether this display, if it is same across the different browsers or not. Along with that, we will also verify them with the various devices like a mobile, desktop, tabs, like this we will verify in the different devices. We will check in all the major browsers like Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, Safari. Like this, we will test it in the major browsers. Next, we will verify whether the layout and the design of the payment gateway, whether it is user friendly or not. Because the payment gateway, it should be easy to understand by everyone. Next, we will verify whether the various fund transfer options which are mentioned in the customer requirement, whether they are available or not. The various options like quick transfer, fund transfer to own account, fund transfer to others within the bank, virtual account fund transfer, fund transfer to other banks, IMPS fund transfer, international fund transfer. Like this, there will be various options available. We should check whether they are available or not. Once this UI testing is completed, next we will proceed with the functional testing. In this functional testing, we will click on each options that are available and we will test whether the transaction it is happening correctly as per the option or not. We will test the transactions against the predefined limits in order to ensure that they are enforced correctly. For example, when the beneficiary account is added, it should be approved by the bank. Then we will check if we are able to send to beneficiary account within the limit that is set and also we will try to send above the limit that is set. Next we will test the transaction cancellation process in order to ensure that the refunds they are processed correctly. Next we will verify the transaction history whether it is reflecting the successful and failed transaction accurately along with the details or not. Once this functional testing has been completed, then we will start doing the performance testing. First we will do the load testing. That is, we will test whether the website it is having the ability to handle the large number of transaction at the same time to ensure that it can handle the peak loads. We will also verify the response time. That is, we will measure the response time of the payment gateway under the various load conditions in order to ensure that it meets the performance requirements. Like this, we will do the performance testing. And once the performance testing has been completed, we will do the integration testing. In this integration testing, we will test the integration of the payment gateway along with the different merchant websites or application. We will do this to ensure that there is a smooth transaction processing happening. And also, to test the integration of the payment gateway with various banks. Once this integration testing has been completed, we will proceed with the security testing. In the security testing, we will verify that the data which is transmitted between the user and the payment gateway, it is encrypted using the SSL or TLS certificate. This SSL certificate, it is a digital certificate that authenticates a website's identity and enables the encrypted connections. Next, we will ensure that only the authorized users, only they can access the payment time do the transactions. We will test it from the customer point of view and the banker's point of view and also sometimes from the customer support's point of view also. Next, we will verify that the payment gateway, it complies with the payment card industry data security standards to protect the cardholder's data. Next, we will verify 
whether there is a secure transmission of the sensitive data using the encryption protocol like HTTPS. Here we will be checking whether the payment it is happening through the secure channel or not. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of the videos or updates. Thank you.